Hi, it's Alia here and welcome to summer. It is a time of openness and expansion and being in full bloom. And this is also part of my series that I'm so passionate about, which is how to achieve optimal health and living and well-being by participating with the seasons, this magical cycle of life that we are existing within. The element of summer is fire, and the governing organs are the heart, the pericardium, and the small intestine. So this is a really important time where in spring we were that bursting forth of a seed. And now that we've been growing and growing and that we've opened, like imagine a peony that all of a sudden is building, 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 and then bursts forth in all direction into this brilliance. So that's the opportunity in summer. The emotional experience is that of joy and openness. Now on the flip side, if we are not in balance with ourselves and with the season, we can experience the absence of joy. We can experience the negative effects of fire in ourselves, such as nervous agitation, um, exhaustion, anger, frustration, all of that building up. So when we're dealing with the fire element, there's a couple things to be really mindful of. We don't wanna allow that fire element to overheat or go too much to the head, or we wanna be able to manage that and not kinda of tip over into the areas of feeling manic or hysterical. Right. So some things that we can do are to eat cooling foods. This is one of the most important tips to be mindful um, in the summer. So cooling foods like cucumbers and melons and peaches and apricots, using spices like cilantro and dill and mint. Also, you want to really stay hydrated. I love to make sun tea. Really infuse your tea with the magic and the power of the sun. Also, you can have sitting around in a pitcher is a big um, container of water with cucumbers and lemon in it and just sip that all day long. Now summer is a time of year where you might want to wake up early and actually go to sleep a little later and allow yourself a little nap or a rest midday so that you're not overfilling yourself with the heat of the sun. Now even on a cloudy day you want to be mindful of where the sun is in the sky. So even on a cloudy day that sun is more right above the crown. So still being mindful of, of cooling because it's not just a hot day, you're still going to have that heat in your nervous system. It's important in summer that you avoid heavy foods. So skip out on as many dairy products, fried foods, even meat products if you're a meat eater. Your body's just not gonna be demanding them or needing them in order to function. You wanna really eat in moderation. This is a time when that fire can affect um, indigestion and insomnia. So keeping food more in moderation is gonna support that. Summer's also an ideal time to cleanse. One of the, the best times to cleanse. And my last tip and one of my favorite tips for summer is to seek what brings you joy. So it's not so much about the party music, and party music is great, but this is more about the temple music. What really brings nourishment to the sacred chamber of your heart and the pericardium, which is that container around the heart, your innermost self. So be asking yourself that question every morning. What today is gonna bring me joy on the deep, level of my heart being. So in the spirit of summer and expansion and joy and living your dreams and feeling love and happiness with the people around you, I celebrate summer with you. And leave me comments. Let me know what you're thinking. Subscribe if this inspired you and I look forward to seeing you soon.